Welcome to True Crime and Coffee Time, where I make a cup of coffee and do a little coloring and give you a nugget of true crime. My coffee is a maple cold brew with pumpkin spice added in. Gotta get my pumpkin spice before the season's over. This is Harold Shipman, born January 14th, 1946, and he did die actually the day before his birthday, um, January 13th, 2004. Um, let, let's get into this, shall we? Now, Fred Shipman, do his friends call him Fred? So, hi, Fred. Uh, he was an English general uh, practitioner and a serial killer. He is considered one of the most prolific serial killers in modern history, with an estimated amount of about 250 victims. On January 31st, 2000, he was found guilty of the murder of 15 patients under his care. He was sentenced to life in prison with a whole life order. Uh, he did die, actually, by suicide, so maybe he chose the day before his birthday. It was his, before his 58th birthday birthday. Maybe he chose that for a reason. Who knows? Um, he's actually one of the only British doctors to date that's been convicted of murdering his patients. Although other doctors have been acquitted for similar crimes or convicted of lesser charges. His early life is, is a lot. Um, he witnessed his mother kind of terminal condition, uh, all the way until her death. Um, he married, he had four children, he studied medicine, and it, he got in a little bit of trouble with the drugs and was in a drug rehabilitation center. It's not like a crazy backstory, but he did have struggles throughout his life. Now, the trial and imprisonment of it, he was killing majority of these women. Um, he was just an angel of death. There's no glamorizing it. He just wanted to be a good doctor and he just didn't want to see them suffer in his mind. And maybe that was due to the, the historic uh, context of seeing his mother suffer. The angels of death usually have a traumatizing event and, um, uh, up to 250 people not knowing is just so heartbreaking for those families. But yeah, he was uh, definitely wanting to ease pain in the most corrupt way possible.